the Autonomous Learner Model was created by George Betts and Jolene Kircher in the 1970s and 1980s. It was created to target both achieving and non-achieving gifted students to become independent, creative, and responsible learners. This means that these students will solve problems and investigate ideas and topics with minimal external guidance. There are five dimensions that, when followed, lead students to become autonomous, lifelong learners. The first dimension is called orientation. This is when students, their parents, and teachers learn all about the model, its goals, and the program. This is also when students learn about what is intelligence and what is creativity and what does it mean to be gifted. The second dimension, called individual development, provides learners with the opportunity to develop the cognitive, emotional, social, physical skills, concepts, and attitudes necessary for lifelong learning. Learners gain the skills needed to take an active role in their learning process through individual development. This dimension includes inter- and intrapersonal development, learning and organizational skills, use of technology, and information about college and career involvement. During the enrichment dimension is when students begin to explore content that is outside of the school curriculum. Learners are able to discover content outside of what the school provides, which fits their learning needs. They start with explorations, and they complete investigations. And then cultural activities can allow for participation in community events, and service activities can encourage learners to help make the world a better place. If students are to become learners, then they must have the opportunity for independent, individual, and group learning, which means having a structure that allows and promotes the development of new knowledge for the individuals. This is the purpose of the seminar dimension. This dimension aims to give learners a chance to work on a research topic independently and then present a seminar to others based on their research. The fifth and final dimension of the autonomous learner model is called the in-depth study dimension. This is when learners will determine what they will learn, how they will learn it, how they will present it, and also what facilitation will be necessary for their assistance. They also get to decide how their learning process will be assessed. This is the completed autonomous learner model by George Betts. It includes all five dimensions. I think it's important to note that Betts made two important distinctions in his writing. He distinguished a student from a learner. He said that students relied on teachers for knowledge, while learners pursue passions by developing skills and seeking knowledge. He also made the distinction between a teacher, who is one who dispenses knowledge, versus a facilitator, who is one that supports and encourages the learning process. Following, I interviewed a couple of students, and this is what they had to say about their project-based experience. We did a project on hypnosis. We came up with the topic hypnosis because one of our friends was like goofing around trying to hypnotize us and we thought that would just be a really cool project to do. When we decided we wanted to do hypnosis, we knew we wanted to research it from several different standpoints. So we actually ended up going to the Atlanta Center for Hypnosis Training because we wanted to learn about not only what happens when you are hypnotized, but also what goes into hypnotizing someone and what you have to understand about them. We told people about hypnosis. At our school, we have this thing called an academic fair. And basically, what an academic fair is is something every classroom does, where we have groups and we present a research topic, which we choose ourselves, to our stu other students, our parents, and the community members. 